This video is to show the basics of the glue to floor utility that we've created. I've created a demo scene that I will use to show some of the main features of the glue to floor utility. In my scene, I have a Genesis 8 female with a 30 frame basic animation. You'll see as I scrub through the animation that the feet move all over the place. They are just not grounded to the floor plane at all. This utility has a number of options that change the end result significantly. Let's run the utility now. The interface is made up of three sections, as well as an info box that summarizes what will be done. The first section selects how much of your animation you wish to process. By default, the utility will process your entire animation, and this can be changed to process certain frames or even just a single frame. The foot fixing section is perhaps the most important. In this section, you can select which part of each foot is glued to the floor. Selecting none in this section will result in the figure simply being lowered to the floor plane for whatever range is processed. Finally, the vertical figure offset section sets an overall offset for the figure across the animation range to be processed. This can be used if you want your animation to be at a different height to the floor plane. Let's do some examples. First off, let's say we want to simply have the figure lowered to the floor plane across the entire animation. This can be done with using Daz Studio's drop to floor feature on every frame, but that can get rather tedious on a long animation. Instead, I'll run the glue to floor utility with none in the foot fixing section. You'll see that the result has the figure on the floor plane across the entire animation. The feet slide around because we didn't glue either of them down. The figure movement is all applied to the hip joint so that you can still move the body element of the figure to position the figure if needed. So let's undo that and try the option to glue down the right foot. You'll see that the right foot now stays in place and the figure is moved to compensate. If we zoom in on the right foot though, you'll see that it lifts above the floor plane in some of the parts of the animation. This is because the foot bends quite significantly through the animation affecting its bounding box. So let's undo that and run the utility again. This time, let's select to glue the right toe. You'll see the results look much better. And the right foot remains planted on the ground throughout the entire animation. OK, let's go back a step again and try the utility on the left foot. You'll see this results in the figure now having the left foot glued in place. Of course, in this animation, the right leg passes through the floor as a result of the left foot being glued to the floor. Finally, let's look at the vertical figure offset option. I'm going to move the small plane in my scene up by 20 centimeters. That's 200 millimeters. If I run the utility now and glue the right toe to the floor with no vertical offset, we end up with the figure being way too low as she is still on the floor plane. Let me undo that and run it again. This time I'll specify a vertical offset of 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters. The result is the whole figure is now offset to the correct height for my moved plane. With the utility's ability to process a single frame or certain parts of an animation, you could use it to ground your figure in many ways, from Michael Jackson style moonwalks to walk cycles. You can run it and glue one foot for part of the animation and the other foot for the rest of the animation. I hope this video gives you a good idea of the potential and the power for this utility. Thank you for taking the time to watch it.